Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5.30 starts now. Winter weather really takes its toll. Tonight in good health, what this Arctic weather really does to our bodies. Winter weather can prove deadly, but not just from car accidents on icy roads or heart attacks from shoveling. Cold weather takes a different toll on us. Dr. McGeorge joins us now from the icy outdoors to explain why it isn't even the most extreme cold that can kill. Doc. Well, that's exactly right. You know, whether it's cold outside or whether it's heat, when temperatures reach extremes like these, people will die as a simple result of exposure. But studies actually show it's not the extremes that are the most deadly. It's really moderate cold, basically much of the winter that's actually most deadly. The dark days of winter do more than depress us. They increase the death rate. Many studies done in different countries, including the United States, clearly show winter increases mortality on average by roughly 7.5% when compared to the most ideal temperature. In one study, the effect was greatest in areas with low living room temperatures, limited bedroom heat, and low proportions of people wearing hats, gloves, and warm coats. Basically, it was worse for people who were poorly prepared for cold weather in general. Now, in countries like the United States that experience seasonal swings in temperature, death rates are lowest around 72 degrees. As the mercury drops, our bodies change. Blood becomes more prone to form clots, increasing the risk of stroke, heart attacks, and other problems. Breathing becomes more difficult for many as airways become more sensitive and, of course, we're attacked by more infections from common cold viruses to influenza. Now, one thing that's particularly interesting is cold weather does not affect all populations the same. In fact, when you look at the data from Canada and Sweden, where the average annual temperature is in the low 40s, cold does not take as much of a toll. So it is clearly possible to limit the harm. Back to you. Doc, what about age groups? Uh, are there, is there one group particularly that's more at risk than another? Yeah, definitely. It's in fact the elderly. It's much, much higher for them. So maybe there is probably some wisdom to being a snowbird. And at very least, as we age, if you live in the north where it's cold, it's really critical to keep warm because that's where the survival benefit is. All right. Some very good advice. Thanks a lot, Doc. We appreciate it. Now come mm -hmm. on inside and warm up. Thanks.